What's good, y'all? Anthony Timmons here checking in, aka the Maker Manager. If you don't know me from YouTube, and today, man, I'm gonna share with you guys my transformation story and my journey into fitness and everything. So, if you if you look at me now, you might think, okay, you know, this is a fit guy. He's probably been working out for X amount of years and he's been in shape. Uh, what if I told you that, you know, just three years ago, I was depressed, I was sad, I was obese. Um, I had no confidence, you know, I looked terrible. Like, what if I told you that? Now, let me share a little bit about, you know, how I got to where I am today. And, you know, just, sh just share with you guys my, my transformation story. So, my story starts back in college, uh, probably around 2013, 2012 ish. Um, I was the normal college student, you know, partying, drinking all the time, uh, traveling, just having fun, enjoying myself. But as a result, my health was all messed up, man. So, uh, I didn't watch what I ate. I wasn't really working out regularly. I played basketball, but you know that didn't really you know do too much for it for me. You know, if you're out of shape, obese, and you're eating terrible, just playing basketball or doing some type of cardio is not gonna help you out really. Okay, so and also since I've been since I was 19 years old, I'm 25 now. Since I was 19, I've been working in a corporate environment and working like a sedentary job. You know, basically nine to five. Uh, it led me to eating terribly for lunch, just buying things, you know, for snacks or whatever, whenever I can get them, like whatever I get my hands on, I would eat. And that's what I realized a lot of people in the corporate environment, you know, regardless if you were my age or if you're my age now or even older than me, that is what happens. It's terrible for your health, man. So I remember somebody from work actually telling me uh, one time that I looked like I put on a lot of weight. And I was already, you know, self-conscious. And, you know, I had confidence issues and stuff. But then I started to look at myself, really. And, you know, my clothes were fitting really tight. And I was, you know, self-conscious about that. Uh, I, I felt slow. I felt out of shape. My friends would make fun of how I looked. Or, you know, call me fat and this stuff like that. Um, my confidence levels were just at an all-time low. Like, I, I was sad. You know, I was depressed a lot of the time. I was scared of people to see me. I was scared to be... I was terrified to be seen with my shirt off, man. And it was just... It's just something that... I did not enjoy it all. It was a very low time in my life. And I realized that I needed to change. I needed to do something about my health. I needed to lose some weight. I needed to regain, you know, confidence that I had before I realized, you know, what my problems were and everything. Or even go past that level of confidence. So, I realized I needed to get in shape. And in February 2014, me and one of my friends, we decided, okay, yo, enough is enough. We're tired of being out of shape. We're going to commit ourselves to fitness like for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and since that day, I have committed myself to fitness. Now, I will say that the first one, one and a half years, I did lose some weight. I did. And I, I looked way better than I did before. And I'll even flip a picture in for that. But I found out that I was doing things wrong. When I did it on my own, I was doing things wrong. I wasted a whole year and a half, and I'm glad that I got that experience because everybody makes those rookie mistakes. But if I could have those one and a half years back with the knowledge that I have now, man, I, I would be further along than I am now. So what I did was to accept my results, I took a chance. Uh, I was researching online, you know, different ways to get in shape, and I came across a specific person, and, you know, I decided to give it a chance. Uh, I made him my mentor uh, slash coach, and learned everything I could from him. And when I tell you that that changed my life, that changed my life like nothing else, I'm telling you. And it made me realize, you know, if you don't, if I didn't know something, I needed to learn it from somebody. Like, when you take a class at school, you know, you're taking the class to learn something. You learn from somebody that already has the knowledge, which is that teacher. So if the same thing applies to fitness, if you don't know how to get in shape, you need to hire a coach or you need to look for somebody to teach you the things that you need to know. It's a lot better to have a uh, to have a coach. I'm more of a, you know, I can do it. Uh, I can take things and run with it myself. So I was able to learn from someone, you know, just online, reading articles and looking at studies and stuff like that. And I was able to follow, you know, follow workout programs and, you know, tweet him and stuff for advice because he actually responded to that stuff because he's very well known. Um, but I was paying for his services and stuff. But... You know, just having that resource there, someone to teach you, someone to learn from, that, sh that makes all of a world of a difference, man. And it taught me, you know, I need to make fitness a priority. I need to, you know, learn how to cook my meals in advance. I need to learn how to, you know, plan to get my, uh, you know, plan my workout into my day. I need to learn, you know, how to eat 
in order to you know fight the urges to get you know all the junk food and stuff uh how, just pretty much how to make fitness a lifestyle and when i did that i'm telling you like that 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 the, the person that I hired as my coach is the person that I think for all my results. No matter how far I go, because I learned from him, and then it, I branched off and started to teach myself and learn different things. And uh, no matter how far along I go, I will always give thanks back to my initial coach and mentor. I will always do that, and that's the thing that changed my life. You know, now I have the confidence that I've always wanted. Uh, I'm constantly progressing, uh, progressing my physique. I'm always trying to get better. Um, I'm happy. I'm energetic. Um, everything, every aspect of my life improved, all because I took that leap of faith and got a coach, man, and uh, just changed my life for the better. And now um, I became a personal trainer. I'm trying to help people out. I've transformed a bunch of clients. I've worked in a gym. Now I do online training, and I've transformed people, and I'm transforming people right now at the moment. And you know, it's just a great feeling, and it's honestly. Um, it's just because of my journey, you know, I want to help people that were in the position that I was in and I want to show people like this video should show you that, you know, uh, I was in your position, you know, whether you're in college and out of shape, you know, or even if you're a little bit older and you just have a corporate job, you're out of shape, you don't have time to work out or you think that you don't have time to work out and you know, you're eating terribly, you just feel bad. Um, I'm here to tell you no matter what you can get into shape. You just need the proper knowledge. You need to take the time to learn it, okay? That's all that it is. That's all that it takes, you know? Don't be scared to take a leap of faith because once I took a leap of faith, I was good to go, okay? <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much my story right there, man. Um, and I hope you got, you know, you saw the pictures and everything. So the, the difference is drastic from what I was a little bit over three years ago to what I am. Now and what I'm gonna be next year and what I'm gonna be in the year after that. So it's always progressing and I'm happy and I love this fitness lifestyle, man. And I hope that this video kind of inspired you and motivated you a little bit um, uh, to go out there and kill it, to you know get your diet together, to get a workout together, or maybe even get a damn coach, man. Like so, I hope you enjoyed the video. If this video inspired and motivated you in any type of way, all I ask is that you share this on your Facebook page, share this on whatever social media that you can or that you that you feel to, um, and you'll just get this out to more people. Get this out to your family and friends that might need some inspiration and motivation, you know, to get out there and realize, you know, just because I look like this doesn't mean that I can't get in shape, you know. Help motivate and inspire the world. That is one of my goals, okay? And also, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at A-E-S-T-H-E-T-S-E -E -E, uh, by nature. And then my YouTube channel, you can search uh, macro manager or macro manager for most people. But so, I hope you liked the video, man. Don't forget to like the video, man. Don't forget to share it. I'm a hot latch, y'all, man. Make a man job.